Yeah. Christ. Woo! Wrong way. That's how you do it, baby. OK. Oh, my God! Davis, welcome to a brand new series of Taskmaster. <laughs> it's great to be back. And since we were last on air, I've met so many of you on my travels. And just to start the new series, as I mean to go on, can I just say, genuinely, if you're one of the many people that came up to me in the street over the last couple of months and had a photograph with me on your phone, I want you to know this. Despite my smiles and what I said, I did resent being asked. <laughs> And you did ruin my night. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Let's crack on and see what the new five look like, huddled together on their chairs, their eyes on this prize. A trophy of a man who doesn't have a beard or glasses. <laughs> it's not me! <laughs> Please welcome Joanne McNally! Sitting next to me is the Harry to my Meghan Markle. <laughs> a little ginger who started to realise that he's paired up with one sassy queen. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello. Mm. All right. Hello, Greg. How are you doing? Dangerous, as always. Good. <laughs> Just a bad boy. <laughs> I'll do anything, honestly. I'll do absolutely anything. I don't care. Yeah? See this, right? Here we go. Can of worms. <laughs> I'll, I'll open that. <laughs> go on, open it. <laughs> oh, it is actually worms. Yes, it's worms. <laughs> I'll tell you now, without looking at him, that's the end of what he's prepared. Are you saying I, there should be more stuff now? No, there should be some sort of punchline, yeah. yeah. So this bit now is the punchline. <laughs> but everyone was in a great mood and really looking forward to it. And now look at this. That's what happens when you open Because th there's a room for... <laughs> <laughs> OK. All right. I mean, you've got a round of applause out of it. I've... <laughs> I quite, in quite manipulative fashion, I think. <laughs> Let's get the first of our prize tasks underway, then, shall we? Underway, right away. And for this episode, you've asked them to bring in something pretty important. It's this. The most glorious thing that sounds a bit like Greg Davis if you mumble it. <laughs> The most glorious thing will get five points, and the winner of this first episode will take home five things, which all sound a bit like Greg Davis, if mumbled. Over to you. Yeah. this. Right. Joanne. Yeah. What have you brought in? I brought in a jug. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like Greg Davis when mumbled. Yeah. Glug. Glug gravy. Glug gravies. A jug of gravy? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. She has brought in a glug jug of yeah, gravy. Yeah, glug jug. It looks like this. It's called a glug jug. There you go, look. Uh, <laughs> that's called a glug jug. That's called a gravy. What do you mean it's called a glug jug? When you pour it out, it makes a glug sound. It makes, that's it, it makes a glug sound. It has mm. glug acoustics. It goes glug, 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 Greg Davies. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so what rhymes with Davis? Gravis. Thank you. I think right. we've established everything I need to establish <laughs> <laughs> before I give you one point. <laughs> John, what have you brought in? I brought in Greek diaries. <laughs> <laughs> You've actually brought me in, John. I brought in Grieg's diaries. <laughs> the diaries of Edvard Grieg, the Norwegian composer. Here they are. Yeah. Here they are. <laughs> wow, that's good, isn't it? Is it a glorious thing, Matt? It is meant to be the most glorious thing. Have you heard his concertos? <laughs> I'm saying I had to read the book, and it's mainly about his desperate unhappiness at school. <laughs> His, his glorious and happiness at school. <laughs> I like Greek's diaries. <laughs> Hi, Greg. We are contrasting physical characters. We are. <laughs> In what regard? <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it as a mystery. <laughs> what have you brought in? I went for Exeter. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say it again? Excellent. 
Are you saying Eggs Benedict? I am. <laughs> Who would have thought Joanne would be back in the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's the Eggs Benedict. <laughs> it's difficult to mumble Benedict into Davis, for hey. sure. <laughs> Not if you breathe out. I think if you breathe out... Hey. Well, let me give it a go. Yeah. Benedict. <laughs> Sophie. I've met your aunt and uncle. <laughs> Pam and Willie. She was Miss Wem in 1962. And she was saying, all oh, right, I've got this. He's, he's on telly, he's my nephew. Yeah. He's tall, it took us ages. But we got that. <laughs> Do you know what's genuinely fascinating about this? Yeah. Is I know very well who my aunties and uncles are, and they are not Pam and Willie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. They've been telling a lot of fibs. Yeah, yeah, they're lying, all right. Uh, what have you brought in? Egg babies. <laughs> Greg Davis. Will you mumble it for me? Egg babies. <laughs> yes? Egg babies. Uh, That is good. Thank you. Egg babies do exist. People train to be a parent by holding an egg baby yeah. for up to two months. Who are these people? Well, me and my wife. Right. <laughs> That's very good, Sophie. Thank you. I'm quite proud of them. Steve, what have you brought in that rhymes with Greg Davis? So, I was mumbling your name and I came up with, uh, Pag Mavis. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that? Pag Mavis. Mavis? Pag Mavis. Pag Mavis. It's Mavis from Coronation Street as a peg... Doll. Oh, God. <laughs> and here she comes. <laughs> this is tough. Yeah, 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 it's not bad. Reece Shearsmith did the picture. Did he? Yeah. Mavis Riley, Mavis Wilton, uh, played by Selma Barlow. So I actually sent Peg Mavis to Selma Barlow um, to see if I could get her endorsement of Peg Mavis. <laughs> and she sent me a lovely signed card. There she is, oh. that's Thelma. Oh. To Steve Goodluck from Thelma. After I got Peg Mavis back from Thelma Barlow, I sent Peg Mavis to the actual Coronation Street. And I think it was a very windy day, as you can see. <laughs> if anything, it's a bit too bum licky, isn't it, the whole thing? It's got us over the top, was a Right, you've seen all five? I mean, it's not hard to give Joanne one point, obviously. <laughs> Nick, two points, and you can thank me for them. Thank you. Yes. Uh, well, Thank you. I'm going to give Egg Babies three points. Fabulous, thank you. I think I have to reward Steve because it's the beginning of a new series and I'm trying to be more upbeat about life <laughs> for all of his efforts, but I want yeah. you to know that Greek Diaries is a very close second. Thank you. There we go. Five points. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, we're off. Let's task. And we begin with a task involving my two middle names, Danger and Eggs. <laughs> Welcome, Sophie. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Egg, is it? Hello, my G. Hello, Steve. <laughs> hmm. That's cute. Who do you think it looks like? Mr. Blobby. <laughs> Best physical comedian of our generation. Uh, we should crack on. Lovely. Yeah? Do the riskiest thing involving this egg. Without breaking this egg. Love that. The egg in the greatest danger that doesn't break wins. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Can you swallow an egg whole? And get it out again. And get it out again. Not sure that's going to happen in 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. So I'm going to take a minute to think before I plough in. Because that's always good, in it? When you say, oh, hang on, when you say crack, do you mean the um, shell? Or do you mean the egg comes out? So this is spoken to me. There's a little thing, number nine, on there. Now, I do a show called Inside Number Nine. Oh, yeah. If I put the egg in there, and we'll take this egg on a hell of a ride. <sighs> I'm so disgusting, but I'm not going to do what I th immediately thought of doing. Both of your instincts, yours and John's, was to eat the egg and then uh, defecate it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine was... My, mine wasn't... To do... Stop! <laughs> Excuse me! What sort of animal do you think I 
am. I wasn't going to defecate. I was going to add it to the rest of my eggs for safety. <laughs> In there. I, I was planning to defecate. <laughs> Let's have a look. OK, well, our first two risk takers are Nick Mohammed and Joe McNally. Do we have um, puffer wrap? Bubble wrap? Yes. Is it hard boiled? I don't know. Well, let's go and boil it. I've got 20 minutes. Round one. See how that egg's doing. Okay. Let's take it outside. I'm gonna try and throw bricks and get as close as I can. It's a bit risky. Yeah, it sounds really risky, right? You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Ooh. That risky. That was quite close. Yeah. You ready? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, it jumped over it. That's risky. It's really risky. This is fun, isn't it? It's is quite fun. Oh, <laughs> go on. Finished? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'd say it's cracked. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Hard-boiling the egg would protect it from a brick. I thought hard-boiling the egg would make it firmer. Yeah, but, I mean, I did feel an element of risk there. Yeah. It, was it looked quite exciting. sad at the end, though, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah like you're where you murdered it. <laughs> um, Joanne, probably the bricks would have bounced off that bubble wrap. But no-one gasped at my task. They were gasping at Nick's, which well, means yeah. it's more risky. Well, that's the second comment I'm coming on to, which is, you then did the least risky thing I've ever seen. <laughs> She did say, right, I'm going to fuck it against a brick wall like a mad bastard. <laughs> I did say that. <laughs> that was, that was the it plan. Was, it was riskier in my head. Do you want to find out if the egg survived? Yeah. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not the point? <laughs> to keep the egg alive? Yeah, it means you've definitely got points because yeah. the egg had to survive. So yeah, the egg had to it. survive. Oh, no, you won't get anything. No, not if the egg didn't survive. <laughs> Yours got eaten by a crow. So... <laughs> and there's something quite cannibalistic about Another yeah. bird eating an egg. Of oh. course. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> OK, do you want to see another one? Yes, please. OK, it's now time for old Risky Robbins. Ooh. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking me out for a ride. I know your husband's at his cow riding lesson. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> God, are you OK? You saved my life. That, that was incredible. <laughs> Very nice. So we uh, drill down into the narrative a little bit there. So the egg is giving me a lift home. Unbeknownst to the egg, the egg's husband's cow riding lesson is nearby. Yeah. The egg, egg wife was, was heading towards the very cow the ex-husband was learning to ride. Oh, my God, the irony. So uh, she swerves, hits a brick wall. Yep. We both survive intact. Yes. And if you have any doubt as to the riskiness of that procedure, please speak to the production staff about the two-hour meeting we had about... <laughs> <laughs> Next up, it's Steve Pemberton. I want to tell you a story about risk. We're in the mining town of Yokeston, population half a dozen. It's a Friday. 
beautiful day, sunny side up. Into town rides the intrepid explorer Egbert No Bacon and his trusty goat Shelley. And they're trundling through here. As you can see, there's lots of CCTV, and this alerts the local poachers. And they are chasing Egbert. And there's huge risks, so Shelley has to go quickly. But there's the Omelette Express. <laughs> Shelley's rearing up. The poachers run out of breath. But here's the greatest danger and the greatest risk of all. Egbert has to run over the Krakatoa Falls. And there he goes through the Cape of Good Horn. <laughs> and off into the sunset, having allayed all risk. His brain was scrambled. But Egbert and Shelley, go on. Oh. You made it. Thank you. He's happy, is he? He's happy, yeah. Yeah. Happy as Larry. Sweaty. Yeah, he's really sweaty. <laughs> but you would be. Just had all that risk. God, I was really torn between thinking, oh, God, this... this quite complex puppetry skills going on here, and the thought that I was watching a very lonely boy in his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had Alex with me. <laughs> I did as many different risks as I could. Which brings us to our um, controversy of this particular piece of film. <laughs> mm. Did Egbert crack when he fell from the stagecoach? Oh, you mean after the task had been completed? Oh. <laughs> There may have been some albumin. And you were so enjoying yourself, weren't you? I really was. <laughs> you were having a lovely time. I did have a lovely time. Good. Shame you failed. <laughs> Shall we have a look at Sophie? Sure, yes, it's our final risk-taker. It's Sophie Willen. <sighs> We'd be risky to get it on your head, wouldn't it? My grandma used to do it. You know, the posture test with an apple on her head. Does she? Yeah, or a book. If you, you keep your back straight, she says like this. Do you know I'm going to try with some, just this for a start, just to kind of edge in. Right. Your head's a little bit like a nest. Yeah, well, that helps, doesn't it? But it's not, it's still risky, though. Yeah. Hang on, right, I'm... Risky. Right, hang on. Oh, no. I'm gonna... I'm... <laughs> He's gone! <laughs> He's gone! Oh, no. I felt so confident I was gonna do a lunge and everything. <laughs> they look so sad, don't they? Thanks. No, thank you, Sophie. <laughs> Well, I still get a point for trying, don't I? So that's... Yeah. I don't want to do an offensive caricature of your accent. Yes, do, though. Go on, carry on. I put it to you that your version of creating risk in a situation like this is to occasionally look at the camera and go, Risky! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Johnny fucking Vegas! <laughs> I said it would be offensive. <laughs> it was a very risky thing to do. To put an egg on your head? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With an egg? Come on. <laughs> wow. I think you're going to be a delight for this series. <laughs> <laughs> so three people broke their egg. Do they get any points, Greg? Well, no. OK, in which case, only John and Joanne's eggs survived. I thought that the bubble wrap was very clever, but I don't think there was a lot of risk. So I can't give you five points. OK. But I can give you four, uh, which is a oh, miracle. It's the... <laughs> <laughs> because you're yeah. 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 And obviously, you will give John Robbins' effort yeah. five points. There we go, five there points. Go. Four points. Is it time for the first scoreboard of Series 17, Alex? Yes, I can show you the scores. At the bottom of the table, it's Nick with just two. At the top, it's John with nine. Wow. There we go. More, please. OK, Greg, and it's time to meet the teams. There we go. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Hi, Alex. What am I looking at? Oh. That's where you stand. Behind the line? No. Here? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Facing you. Not yet. No. Hello. Sophie. Hello. In the red bit, please. Right, -o. Ah. I'm going to open it. Create the best single picture of an animal doing something surprising. All six blinds must be fully and equally involved in your picture. You may not see each other's work. What? Is there someone else here? I don't know. Hello? 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 Is it Steve? It is. Hi, Steve. I literally recognise your voice. It's Nick. What's your name and where'd you come from? <laughs> I'm John and I come from Bristol. Hello? Hello, John. Oh, Sophie from Bolton. Oh, lovely stuff. Oh, hello. Who's that? There's more of us. Hello. 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 I'm Joanne. Hello, Joanne. Hello, Steve. Hello. <laughs> hey, Alex. Oh, OK. Create the best single picture of an animal doing something surprising. All six blinds must be fully and equally involved in your picture. You may not see each other's work and you may only say two words at a time. You may only say two words at a time, right? After the task, your pieces will be lined up next to each other in this order. One, shortest Wikipedia entry. Two, best show at the Edinburgh Fringe winner. Smallest shoe size. I think that's me. The person whom Alex said hello to first. Five most Twitter followers, six lowest scoring full name in Scrabble. You may not move outside of your segment. You have 15 minutes. Your time starts when Alex blows to his whistle. <whistles> Hi, Nick. Hi, Steve. Pulling blinds. Me too. <laughs> Well, it's funny, at this stage of the game, you're all being so sickeningly friendly and polite <laughs> to each other. <laughs> I'd love to see how that will change over time. <laughs> Shall we? Yes, so they had to paint one picture per team and their six segments were going to be lined up in a certain order. But the yes. main problem is they could only use two words at a time each. So here's how they all got on it. Painting on blind and talking in two words at a time and that sort of thing. Colour? Uh, green. Lovely. Animal? <laughs> Giraffe? <laughs> Lying down? <laughs> Giving birth. <laughs> Dog car. What? Dog car. Oh! OK. Dog driving. Front car. Giraffe lying. Giraffe lying? Long picture. Yes. <laughs> Portrait. Yes. Which, which... You paint. Which blind? First was... The Shortest oh. wiki. What? Ah. I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. I do. <laughs> oh! Up there. <laughs> Up there. <laughs> Above door. Ah! Fuck. Sophie wiki. Vol. Bold? Vol dancing. <laughs> Sophie wiki. What? One Nick. Head Nick. <laughs> yes. Two, Steve. Neck. Yes? Yes. Wiki length. Uh, small. Joanne length? Mine's longer. OK. Wrote myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie first. You are? Bonnet profile. Bonnet profile? Side on. You are? Side on. <laughs> Head height. Mine. Nipple. <laughs> Confused, Steve. <laughs> Sophie Barnes. Side on. What the fuck? Two words. What? What? Private parts? Big ones. Legs akimbo? Yes, please. Car colour? Car red. Thank you. P paint fence? Fence paint? Two words. Using roller. Shit. Catching up. <laughs> Ten seconds left. Really, yeah. You can't look at each other's work, so if you just head towards the front door. Both of us. Mm -hmm. We get to say hello to each other. <laughs> hello! Hello! 
<laughs> oh, yeah. I'm very good. Who are you? Look at your hands. I know, I got a bit carried away, actually, because I got very confused. <laughs> You understood what was happening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, your teammates did. In fact, one of my favourite moments was when you announced for the third time you didn't know what the fuck was going on, and Joanne went, "I do." <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you shouting Vogue dancing? Oh, yeah. She was shouting Vol. That was Vol. She was Vol dancing. Yeah. <laughs> they agreed to do a dog driving, but yes. she had other ideas. <laughs> Control of all. all right. Uh, you two, however, seemed like an mm. absolute dream team. We had some Chuckle Brothers energy going on, I think, between <laughs> us. There was a com little confusion about nipple height. But I... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, the giraffe will specifically have big genitals. Yes. <laughs> that exchange went, legs akimbo, yes, please. Private parts, big ones. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here we go. Sorry, but that's sort of what it looks like. <laughs> Unfortunately, one of them did do landscape, one of them did do portrait, so it actually <laughs> looks like this when you line them up. <laughs> I mean, that certainly helps with the big genitals part <laughs> yeah. of it. <laughs> it certainly does. It's not a bad start. OK. Uh, dare I ask for the next one? <laughs> sure. Here is their picture of a dog driving and a cow dancing and a bird smoking. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I like it. I mean, it's accidental, but I kind of like it as a bit of art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll put the two of them next to each other and you can judge them, Greg. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Mm. I will give the giraffe five points, which is over generous. Okay. The other one is absolute madness. <laughs> but there's some enjoyable individual effort, so I'm going to give them three points, which is again hugely generous. Okay. The winners are Nick and Steve. Five well points. Well done. Right. Can we please have another one, Alex? Yes. Yes, we can, Greg. And for this series, we've gone down to the Taskmaster Farm. Ooh. <laughs> This is really exciting. I've never seen anything like it, that run. Uh, right. Here we are. Right. The Nile. The Nile? Not really, no. Look at that water. I oh. cannot wait. No. Hoopla Gary, before he crosses the finish line. Your time is doubled every time one of your limbs gets wet. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Is this Gary? I don't know. Is something coming down there? Down the river. Gary! <laughs> oh, here we go. You found Gary? There's a gorilla on the boat. <laughs> I really loved watching Dracula run towards the task. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's really quite life affirming. <laughs> Should we crack on? Sure, yes, OK. And if you've always wanted to see a vampire attempt to get a hoop over a gorilla on a raft, <laughs> you're going to absolutely love this. It's Nick. So I've got a hoop him round the head. No. It's tricky, isn't it? Come on, Gary. Oh, God. You've only got one hoop left. <laughs> what a letdown. I was really excited about that. All right, come on, then. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Is this safe? Because I'm quite short. All right. Oh, my God. You've got to hope Gary pretty quick now. Come on, Gary. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's cold.
Oh, look. Can I ask you if your arms are wet? My arms aren't wet at all. OK. I'll tell you what's wet. My legs. Well, I guessed that. <laughs> right, Gary, which one should we do? Nailed it. I'll stop the clock. I think you're in danger of ruining Dracula's reputation. <laughs> so He's quite camp, isn't he? I just... <laughs> he, he is, but it's so adorably so. I genuinely enjoyed it. I hadn't been in a river in years. I mean, you don't. <laughs> Past a certain age, you don't, do no. you? No. Unless you kind of have, like, midlife crisis and start wild swimming and stuff, but I've not, I've not reached yeah. that yet. Yeah, wild swimming, or as it was once called, swimming. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well done, Nick. Thank you. OK, well, it's time for three more attempts. Not you, Sophie. You're going to have to wait. You know what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for John, Joanne and Steve. There's a bouse. Ah, there he is. Hey, Gary. Uh, wait there a sec. I'm going to try with a small one first. Oh! oh! Skimmed. Gary! OK. Brilliant. Keep going. Well, if you want, but I've stopped the clock. You've stopped the clock? You did it. The wind isn't great now. Ah! Yes! Alex, I'm running out of things! There we go. You've done well. Thank you. Can I have a couple of distance goes for fun? <laughs> the pleased with yourself walk off. Not really <laughs> ironic, was it? You were genuinely I'm thrilled. I'm still pleased with myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been as well, fair play. Enjoy it, Steve? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was like being in the fairground again. Boom. Jam? Loved it. My memory is that I got it the first time. Second time for you. Second time, not bad. All three of you, at the end of the day, it's not exciting, but... <laughs> <laughs> you did quite well. Now? <laughs> <laughs> it's Sophie's turn. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for Gary to get over here. Right, OK. He's taking his time. Come on, Gary, step it up. <laughs> right, let's get going then. Hang on. Come on. <laughs> no. Right, this is my chance, really, isn't it? Oh. If I don't get him now, I never will. <laughs> Come on, Gary! <laughs> no! Come on, Gary. Oh, sh <laughs> It's not gone well. Well, you've got about ten seconds. Well, how? I've not... I don't want to... Ah! I can't get a limb wet. I just get one limb. Just one... Oh, oh Yeah, no, that's very dangerous. Yeah. I think I got carried away. Yeah. Who is that? Are you out? It's very... It's like quicksand in the middle. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you have to check on your limbs. I think this, this arm's quite... Tr oh, no, it's wet as well. Is that Gary? No, that's the scarecrow and some waders. Keep, keep you dry. Oh, yeah. Long walk back as well. <laughs> Alex didn't help. Did you notice when I was grappling with yeah. my life? He doesn't. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't. There's this myth going around that he's a nice guy. I yeah. saw it. He's an yeah. asshole. Yeah. <laughs> this is where I got intrigued. You seem to attempt to hop across a river. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd do well in an apocalypse or anything. <laughs> you know, under pressure. 
Fashion, it's a lot, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what you shouted? What? <laughs> I'm going down. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> she did look genuinely panicked. Yes. No, I would, I would like to apologise for not doing anything at all to help. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do regret that. Wow. Absolutely awful. So, <laughs> should we give us some points out? Well, Sophie, first of all, didn't actually complete the task and then got all four limbs wet, so it's... I, I don't know what you want to do with that. Well, I want to give her no points. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the people's champion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Nick took two minutes 45, two limbs got wet, so that doubles twice to 11 minutes. John, two minutes, five seconds. Steve, one minute, 28 seconds. And a new European record, Joanne, 48 seconds and five oh. points. <laughs> Let's have a look at the scores. Yes, unfortunately, you do still have quite a low number, six. At the other end, Joanne, 13, Steve, 14, and John has 15 points. Very good. OK, everyone, for the first time this series, will you please make your way to the stage for the final task of the show? <laughs> hi, Alex. Oh, hi, Greg. Who's going to read the task out for us? Oh, I think Nick Mohammed's going to read it. Here we go. Bring your sausage to life. You have 30 seconds. You may not write any words on your drawing. Best sausage wins. Yes, yeah, so there's going to be four rounds of this and you're bringing your sausage to life in different ways. This is their sausage, Greg. Oh, what a lovely sausage. So every round you add to the one picture? Yes, I'll give you a new characteristic for that sausage. Oh. The worst sausage each time will be eliminated. <gasps> oh, God. So Greg will now give you the first category. After Alex's whistle, make your sausage human. <laughs> The least human sausage will be eliminated. And they're off, Greg. I will be eliminating someone. Sophie hasn't started. Make it. <laughs> oh, apologies. Hands <laughs> down! <laughs> Round one is over, Greg. Would you like to see Joanne's sausage? I would, thank you. Oh, oh great. Mm. <laughs> I just immediately drew reproductive organs of both sexes, so... Oh, I see. <laughs> That's just eyes, obviously, very human. Teeth, very human. Reproductive organs there, that's the fallopian tubes, the vulva. <laughs> and then a penis and testes. You don't get more human than that. Exactly, that's what I was thinking. Nice, that is a strong opener. John, please show Greg your sausage. <laughs> I like it, John. I wanted to give human characteristics without putting all of my eggs into one human basket. Lovely. <laughs> I like John's smile. Okay. Not necessarily any more than I like Joanne's penis. <laughs> <laughs> OK, it's Nick Mohammed next. It's similar to John's, in a way. Ah, that took 30 seconds, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're sticking with the Dracula thing, yeah? I just suddenly thought that doesn't make it human, though, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at Sophie's drawing. I think I've shown humanity in a sausage. And we've gone portrait as well. Oh. Existentialism. <laughs> He's going through a crisis, all right. He's asking questions. He Who is. am I? It's lovely. Thank you. Do you want to see my sausage? Uh, well, I, <laughs> I really do, and I'm hoping it's shit. Oh, no, it's not. Hold on. Pop it up the other way. We've been here before, haven't we, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> sausage party girl. She's quite fey, isn't she? Yeah, she's off to a festival, you know, she's hoping to hear some bangers. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> guy's going to push me to the edge over the series. <laughs> so you're going to have to eliminate one of these and this person will get one point. So who is that, Greg? I'm going to have to get rid of Dracula, sorry. Oh, one point oh, to Nick Mohammed. That's all right. OK. <laughs> so you collecting your sausages. Round two, Greg. Make your sausage scary. Least scary sausage is eliminated. Adapt that sausage. <laughs> Would you like to see some scary sausages, Greg? Yes, I would. <laughs> Joanne. Here's my sausage. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. That is... <laughs> and I got rid of the worm, cos men are scarier. <laughs> Satan's gonna be a man. Yeah. Right, girls? Right. Am I right? <laughs> do you see John's sausage now? Yes, I do. Well, it's still a mouth, but the lipstick... 
oh. has become blood. It's blood! <laughs> <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> it looks to me like your sausage is just holding up a big oven chip. <laughs> Oh, it's a knife. You, ah. If I'd have got the blood in, an angry sausage on the, on the rampage. Steve? Um, so. Oh, nice. She's gone psycho. It's Texas Chainsaw Sausage. And she's <laughs> holding the head of a human. Four scary sausages, Greg. Which one were you least scared of? I think we all know which one I was least scared of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid Sophie's eliminated. Two points to Sophie Willen. <laughs> Unlucky Sophie. OK, what's round three, Greg? Round three is make your sausage sporty. Adapt that sausage. Stop adapting your sausages. Would you like to see Joanne's sporty sausage? You know I would. <laughs> <laughs> Tennis rackets. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, egg and spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Footballs. Yeah. And that's speed. <laughs> What I'm seeing is a big sausage on wheels farting its way towards a lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> He's moving, though. Would I see John's sporty sausage? Yes, please. Picture the scene. <laughs> <laughs> a velodrome. OK. Team GB are going for the uh, cycling gold. Uh, they're on their bicycles, yep. which are at the bottom, and they're cycling so fast, Greg, they've given themselves terrible gum disease. <laughs> One sausage left, Greg. This is um, okay. a, a hockey game. Yep. We've got the hockey stick with the fingers holding it, and this person's tackling. Yeah. And this is the ball, and uh, sausage character yeah. is about to score. Lovely. I could see it was hockey straight away. Least sporty sausage, Greg. I just don't believe that Team GB suffer from cracked and bleeding mouths. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to eliminate John. Third place and three points to John yep. Robin. <laughs> What is the final category, Greg? Make your sausage sexy. <laughs> Adapt those sausages! And they're off. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Stop making your sausages sexy, please. Would you like to see Joanne's sexy sausage first? Let's see that sexed-up sausage. <laughs> <laughs> this is a stripper pal. Oh! That it's spinning around on. Yes, the sexiest of all things. These are uh, um, some breasts. Yes. <laughs> Quite, quite a few breasts. Yeah, well, it's a sausage. He's not sure of his face. These are kind of, you know, the kinky boots that sexy women wear. Uh-huh. This is some sort of thong. A bit yeah, of lingerie. That's it, a thong on a sausage. <laughs> now you've got Papa's attention. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is a gimp mask on the head. OK. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Steve, the heat is on. We've gone a little bit s &M. We've got a nice harness on. Yeah. We've added some lipstick for mm. sexiness. So sexy. So that is a sexy mouth. Yeah. There's the whip there. Yep. Can you see the sexy braids? Absolutely. If I want to get sexy, you better get them braids in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't mark these on sexiness. <laughs> so I think what I've got to do is to give the most points to the sheer amount of sexual reference. There's more sexual references in Joanne's weird drawing <laughs> than there is in Steve's weird drawing. So let's go four and five. There we go, the winner <laughs> is Joanne Monroe. Yeah. So, why don't you all come down here and we'll see what that's done to the final scores. <laughs> oh, hi, everyone. Wow. Oh, so many sausages. Those sausages rocked. <laughs> yeah. Greg, we have a three-way tie. Look at the scoreboard. Wow. Yes, Joanne, John and Steve are in the lead. Well, what are we going to do? We do a chess piece in a chest of peas tie-break, Greg. Obviously. Let's see how they all got on. Which chess piece is not in the peas chest? Fastest correct answer wins. Your time starts now. I don't know anything about chess, so I'm just going to guess. Sorry, dear. So sorry, dear. No one else is going to know this either, except for Steve Pemberton. Six, seven. My answer is a white pawn. So there's a pawn missing then. I bet it's one that's somewhere in the. Oh, it's this one. Stop. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, I think we have a winner, don't we? We do. I can tell you, Joanne was four minutes twenty-eight. John, one minute twenty-six. Steve Pemberton, thirteen seconds, and the episode. <laughs> Please go and 
fumble with the things that you can mumble. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!